Hi guys! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use one of the new features in Marvelous Designer 5.5. And this feature enables you to merge two individual internal lines into one. So here we've got one and another one. And let's say that we want them to join up here into this um, mountain shape and be able to move them as one. As you can see, it looks like it's one now, but if I take this one and move it, it's still separate. So we want to make it into one line instead of two. Well, that's pretty simple. Just select this endpoint, hold down shift, click on the other one, then right click, and we've got several options here. Let's just say merge to point, and there you can see the thing moves as one. And if I try to move this, it's connected. Now let's dive into those options a bit more. First of all, let's look at the align to options. So let's select these two points, hold down shift to select the second one, then right click. And if we say align to x axis, you can see they're both now aligned to the horizontal x axis. And if we wanted them to both be aligned to the y axis, we can align it to the y axis and then they're both over each other. Now, as for the merge options, if I select these again, if I say merge to point, it's always going to take the one that's higher up and bring it down and merge it where the bottom line was. So, as you see, if we go back, this one was higher and we said merge to point and then it hopped down to join up here. If we say merge to average, it will meet up sort of in the center, not in the very highest point, not in the very lowest point, but in the center. And if we say here intersect and merge, it's going to merge here where these two lines intersect. So let's take a look. And there you can see exactly there where they intersect, they're going to merge. Now this can produce very long lines depending what angle your lines are at. So if I make these very separate of each other and then I say intersect and merge, you can see it came right out of the pattern. Because in order for it to intersect, this one has to be extended up and this one has to be extended up. And if I made them even more separated, then you can see it got even longer. Now the intersect and merge works even if you go a little crazy and you make them cross over like this. Uh, you can still select these endpoints and say intersect and merge and it's going to merge there where they intersected. One more option that we haven't discussed is the join overlapping points. So let's say I have this internal line here of the length of 320.7 with a specific angle and I'd like to have another internal line coming off the other side with the same angle and the exact same length. So I'm going to copy it, control C, and then control R to rotate paste it. And I'm going to paste it right over the other one like this. So we've got here one line, two lines. Now we can't select both points in order to do a merge to point or merge to average or whatever, merge and intersect, because they're over each other and it's really impossible to select them, especially if we arrange it perfectly over the other one where we want it to meet. So luckily we just have to select one point, right click and say join overlapping points. And now the overlapping points have been joined. It's one piece and you can see both of them have the same angle, the same length and are perfectly symmetric to each other. And then we can transform the whole thing if we want, skew it, scale it, rotate it, etc. Here's another example where I want to create a symmetric design to pipe along or if you want to sew along it. So I copied this internal line, pasted it, gave it a vertical flip so that it's uh, mirrored to the other one. And then I moved it so that the points intersect. Then I right clicked on one of the points, said join overlapping point, and then I got that one line instead of the two. And then you can pipe along it or sew onto it, etc. Now usually piping is okay, even if it's two lines that are just meeting up but not joined into one, but sometimes the piping can break up where they meet and you can see like an open edge of the piping, an open hole, so therefore it is better to merge them into one line so you don't run into any problems. So that's the new intersect and merge feature and I'll see you in the next tutorial.